Yo, Sakafet, I'm Sammy Biz. Today we're gonna master a song from scratch. If you're a producer and want to know how to correctly master your song, your beat, this video is exactly for you guys. We're gonna see EQing, saturation, and limiting. Also, I will show you how to glue the track using ASSL type boss compression. So, let's get started. The song we're gonna mix today is Burner by Boy Priest. I actually made two mixing tutorials on it, so I'm gonna link them in the description box. So now, let's listen to what we have. <laughs> You can see it's a pretty decent mix, sound nice already and there is no too much problem in terms of dynamic and also guys we're gonna drop this song in this month so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna use this studio act to create my mastering chain. First thing we're gonna add is gonna be the emittering WLM by meter. We're gonna use this one and then our target gonna be minus loudness gonna be minus 10. Is gonna be our target now and first thing first let add compressor i'm gonna use this one this one by analog lab it's a free plugin guys what we're gonna do with this one is basically glue the track uh, we're gonna go with a long attack and then we're gonna put the release on auto and then let's go right here and this one we're gonna paint this one so sorry we're gonna paint this one and also guys uh, don't compress more than 4 dB it's just light compression you really want to keep your track open because remember on the mix part where we add compression already on the beat, on the vocal, so we don't really need to add too much compression on this one. It's going to be only uh, to glue the, the track together. And also guys, one thing I love about this boss compressor that is I have this mix button. So we're going to put it on 50%. And then next thing going to be EQ and guys, let's put the money mal queen, money mal queen EQ. I learned about this one, I think, uh, two weeks or three weeks ago. And since then, I cannot live without it. This top end sound really nice. I'm going to go to 12K. And then I'm going to add. You see? I just exaggerated so you can hear what I'm trying to add to the beat. If I'm muted. It had this clarity, this top end without ashness, guys, and sound really nice. And guys, when you are doing this, you always need to find the sweet spot. And then now, guys, we're gonna use EQ. I love using the F6. I feel like on the shaker, it's a little bit too much on the shaker. I'm gonna take some down a little bit, sorry. Nice. This 
so this is dynamic EQ. On this, I take this shake I was sound a little bit too harsh. I, I just uh, take down some frequency so we can prevent that. So if we do before and after before, and after. This is a vintage exciter. I'm just gonna exaggerate so you can hear. Do the test before and after, and guys, now we're gonna work on the low end and uh, add more distortion. We're gonna use vitamin, it's one of the best tools you can use for mastering, guys. Uh, for example, on this one, I always like to turn my low end into mono. For example, I'm gonna go to 120 hertz. And then why here you can add more white and then right there you turn it into mono. So let's solo it. And also we can add some harmonies. This this right here is harmonic that you add. So let's go now to the low mid. Let's do 750. Right here, let's do 3k, and then right here, let's do 10k. And on this one, uh, because we have the shaker right here, we're gonna uh lower the, the wideness a little bit so we can prevent sound ashness, you see. And why you add some if I remove the direct signal nice I think I'm okay now Woo! Before and after. It's not like brutal change. When you have a cool mix, a decent mix, you are not gonna do too much on mastering. It's like you're gonna make sure that everything sound clean, sound nice, sound loud enough. So I'm just gonna use the L1 maximizer, so ultra maximizer, so I can bring up the volume. Don't forget our target is minus 10. So let's reset this one. Now we are on minus 16. When I see you from a distance, but now, 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 so you can see that we reach our targets with this minus 10. So now let me just play before and after for you. What we just did basically we use uh this SSL boss type compression to add to glue the track and then after we use the money marking EQ to add some top and make it sound nicer and also we use the FX to really bring down some of the harshness a little bit that we have on the shaker and the apex to add some vintage excitement to our to our track and also 
we use uh, the vitamin to definitely add some distortion and then turn the low to mono and also while you guys use the ultra maximizer. But one thing we can do, guys, is just is definitely add the NLS channel right here. Just go and then NLS bus. This one is emulate classic console, guys. We're gonna use the Nive and then add some drive. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something that is very interesting. To have a good mixing, you need to have a good recording. And then to have a good mastering, you need to have a decent mix. And you see, when you have a decent mix, you don't need to do too much on, on it. So this uh, mastering chain, guys, I'm gonna give it for free. I'm gonna link it in the description box so you can download it, guys, and then use it in your beat. And you can use it for your beat, for your uh, song, and it's gonna work. Now, guys, I'm gonna let you enjoy the final fight. That's it guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any question about mastering please leave them down below also tell me if you want more mixing and mastering tutorial see you guys in the next one bow